Tom, good afternoon. What's the mood been like in the camp post Tuesday? Um, it was it was a bit flat coming in, um, but then I think the um, the management staff have, have done a good job of um, picking it back up, and um, we've had a good day of training today. And um, yeah, we've got to look forward now. There's no point looking back. To what extent do you, as players, take responsibility in picking yourselves up as well? Um, any game, win or lose, you go away and analyse your own performance, um, see how you've done personally, collectively as a group and then as a team um, together. So, um, yeah, obviously everyone knows how they've done and, and um, yeah, we, we do analyse our own games. And I guess at this point in the week it's all looking ahead to the weekend rather than looking back. Well, a, a little bit this morning, um, like I said, to pick everyone back up again and, um, and yeah, now full, full focus now is... Um, on Wigan at the weekend, um, we have to go there and, and, and try and put it right. And it's going to be a big challenge as well. Yeah, it's not going to be easy. Um, they're a good side. They're at the top of the league for a reason. Um, but then again, so so are we a good side. So um, yeah, I think it'd be a good test for us. And um, yeah, like I said, we'll, we'll, we'll be going fully prepared. From your point of view, what does being fully prepared entail in terms of the challenge they're going to pose? What are you focusing on in terms of making sure you're ready for what you face on the weekend? Well, we know their threats. We're, we've done work on them today, um, and I'm sure we're going to be working on them again tomorrow. Um, but I think a lot of it this season is, is about us. Um, I don't think we've fully got going as a team yet. Um, so when when we do get up and running. Um, Hopefully the performances and the results will follow. Yeah, it's an interesting one, isn't it? Because I think I was speaking to Daryl Clark just now, and he said when you compare it with last season, you're actually in a better place. But there's still that element of frustration from your point of view. How do you evaluate the season so far? Yeah, that's a fair assessment because at the start of the season we said we we want to be in a better position than last year and finish better than last year, and and like he said, we're in a better position than last year. Um, I think the frustrating thing is we know we're still better. Um, so that that's the frustrating thing about it. So, like I said, maybe when we can get going as a team and the performances and the results will follow. In terms of your individual performance, are you happy so far? Yeah, um, obviously, like like to enjoy my football, and I do that when I'm winning games. So, um, obviously, <laughs> I want to win more than I lose, um, but that, obviously, that's not always the case. Is it not a huge amount of clean sheets? I don't think there's been one in the league yet. Do you have any defensive worries? Um, it's always on your mind. Um, I said earlier, a clean sheet would be nice. Um, but I think Daryl Clark's teams, are the, they're always um, attack-minded. Um, we'll score more than them. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, but no, I, I, I was speaking earlier and I'd love a clean sheet, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. And I think this is the first time we've spoken to you since you've been with the Wales squad. How was that experience and what did you learn from it? Yeah, it's a it's a great experience um, being involved in in the two games um, and and just and watching and learning and different style of coaches and whatnot um, and yeah I, th I think it was good and I went away and I hopefully I've give a good account of myself um, which I think I have um, and yeah and that leaves us in a good position in the group um, better position anyway um, but yeah now full focus now back on Rovers. Do you view the, the experience with Rovers and the experience with Wales as quite separate entities or do you look to bring back things you've learned when you've been away and, and implement them here at Rovers? Well, um, the Wales manager and, and the gaffer here, they have different styles of play, they want different things from different people in different positions. Um, it's never going to be one thing for all, but they're just little things like um, we you pick up from like I know James Collins was there and just some of the things he was saying when we were training and and doing some some drills um, and I'm just trying to listen off every word all the big dogs say and, <laughs> and try and improve myself. Well, all the best for the weekend. Thanks for talking to us. Thank you.